Alright. Alright, we want to say, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers and men, highways and byways, doing this work in all sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Now, this is your brother, Yahweh, Allah. Once again, just want to do a quick lesson. Um, Spirit of Home, if you just jump up and do a lesson upon this, um, say, yo, you know, you have that Jamaican song there, you have a Jamaican song. If you read the Bible and pray every day, you should grow, grow, grow. You get me? And if you don't read the Bible and forget to pray, then you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Now, um, this spirit upon a lot of brothers in the camp, you see me? Not even, not even for say, um, camp of GMS Jamaica, but, um, the whole GMS camp, yo. You get me? You have some brothers becoming like a desic. You have some brothers, um, neglecting them true, them true purpose. Because, one of the things is to communicate with the Mosai as much as I can, you see me? Because without him, we're not a salvation, you see me? And the next thing is to read and read as much as I can. Because there will be a time where this word will be like, like, like something rare. And it have to be with, it have to do with those where wisdom dwell with you, you understand me? So what you do right now, you get as much as you can right now. This is the time. This is the time where you you focus on um the truth, yo, the word. You understand me? Um, first precept more bringing from that is Saint John fifteen, verse four. Abide in me, and I is you, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit for itself except it abide in the vine. No more can he except he abide in me. So you can't do this thing by, by yourself, yo. You can't never, you can never think that, you know. Um, or even think, say, yo, you know, if I read or do not much because, you know, really, I mean, if you this, I don't know. You have certain things, certain criteria. Let every man work out his own salvation in fear and troubling. And how um, you gain that fear. Fear is the beginning. Um, um, the be to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, yo. You get me? So in order to get that fear there, you have to first well, in order to get wisdom you have to first fear the most high, yo. You get me? So case on point without the most high you, you can't get it done, but at the end of the day, you have to put in the work. The work is reading and praying every day. You get me? That's one of the key components fast when you can fast. You get me? If you can fast as often, then hey, fast as often. It's for worthy cause. A fast is basically a sacrifice. You understand me? Say, yo, I am the vine and ye are the branches. He that abide in me and I in him, the same um, bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. So basically, this word, yo, is filled with the Lord, yo, because basically it's written of the Lord. You understand me? So basically, when you go, when you get into this and you read this more, and you fast and you pray and you read, your spirit will build, and the spirit of the Lord will dwell with you because these words will dwell with you, yo. And when these words be, um dwell with you, then you'll be of a man of great um wisdom, yo. You hear how the elders, apostles talk. When those men talk, yo, others niggas shut up. If other niggas are the brothers shut up. As brothers want to hear what wise men have to say, yo. These are wise men among Israel. You understand me? And when they speak, people listen. Right? If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into fire and they be burnt. Because then you're good for nothing. You're just stubble, yo. You get me? You're just, you're, just, you're just a little piece of um, coal to keep the fire going. Or a piece of log to keep the fire going. You understand me? You know where it's nothing. So for those who, who, who are out there who are not reading and are not praying, yo, you know your, your purpose. You get me? You're, 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 you're a, a, a piece of fire. A piece of, a piece of um, stick to keep the fire going, to keep the fire burning. When that fire come, you see me? if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Then when you read 
when you read and pray every single day, yo, it build your faith, yo. That build your faith, that build you up. That make you increase in wisdom, yo. So guess what? You're not going to ask for any, anything. You're going to ask for exactly what you need. And guess what the most I got the most I grant it to you, yo. You get me? But the Lord, since if, if you're really sincere, so the Lord will deliver you. The Lord will keep you. You get me? Um, herein is my Father glorified that he, that he that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. And what a fruit you bear, yo. It's wisdom, this word. And when you look, you go out there and you teach it. And the Lord bring other other um sheep to the fold. Really and truly, yo, this, this truth, this truth or this thing of ours, the more you get into the scriptures and the more you grow, the more you develop, yo. Never neglect it. If you finally have a spirit where it has slack off and stuff, pray about it, yo. That's how you pray. You understand me? That's how you pray. That's how you, you seek the most high. You have some troubling time in this world, you go through some shit with it, if, what, whichever it may be, read. Don't read upon it. You read some scriptures, yo, you'll be surprised that you find a whole heap of topic or 50 different things to do a video upon. Just because you start read. You understand me? If you not read, then we're gonna understand why you not put up videos or why you not do, you not push this truth. It's gonna be evident because you're not doing anything. Right? As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Or you, or you, or you keep um continue in, in them love. Keep him in commandments. Or you're gonna know him commandments if you don't read. Everything, brothers, everything is not just to take it from another brother's mouth or um, a brother come out and teach it. And because you might read it from the scriptures, you hear it. Sometimes it's good for it for yourself or you hear it and then you go back and read it. <clears throat> it stick. You understand me? You retain it more. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Because... In our Romans, I think at 13 and 10, it says, oh, Love is the fulfilling of the law. Right? That's love. Abiding to this um, law, statute, or command, abiding by the word. How oh, you going to abide by it if you don't know it, if you don't read it? You get me? Even as I have kept my father's commandment, abide in, abide in his love. Um, these things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Because these words are comforting, you know. When you go in it and you get the true understanding, or somebody will break it down to you, you really get to it. it it's really comforting, you know. It, it lifts your spirit, it builds you up. That's why you read your Bible, and you pray every day, and you shall grow, grow, grow. See how the song simple. I look into it and I say something simple as that, yo. Look at look, look it go deep. It's very deep. Believe me. If any brother, the simplest brother, yo, him start read, reading Bible and pray every day. Yo, believe me, you, you build, it actually builds character. It really builds character. Right? Um, next precept. This is St. John 7, verse... Masata 38. Okay. Um, yeah, St. John 7 and 38. He's, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That are when you read. You get me? The key point in there is, he that believeth on me as the scripture hath said. What are you going to know what the scriptures say if you don't read it for yourself? Sometimes you listen to what your next brother say. Even if you listen to the next brother say, your brother do the video and he might, he might show you where he might read from because he know what you think say. He might put it out of some crack or somewhere. He might show you where he might read from and guess what? More likely, you have to read it for yourself too. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not busy at the soap man, then you have to listen. But when you watch it, you read it for yourself. You understand me? And when you get into that now, Guess what happened to you? You start gaining this word, yo. You start grow, grow, grow. And eventually what happened? Out of your belly, it will start flow rivers of living water. That's like the scripture said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. What's that living water? This word, yo. It's 
to life. You get me? Verse 39, but he, but this spake of the Holy Spirit, which they that believed on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Yahushai was not yet glorified, because back then the Mosai never died on the cross, him never him never got to him in him, him time. Now him, him got to him time and he's here. He's here. The comforter is here. The Lord is here with us. Well, you know if the Lord is here with us. Um, Hebrews 10 and 7. It says, oh, um, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O power. So the Lord come in at the volume of the book. Hence why? Read your Bible. Pray every day and you shall grow 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 this is how you abide in in, in in the in the in the tree or in the vine this is how um this is how you you grow this is how you, you gain more this is how you have the rivers of living water flowing out of you you understand me read because your mind is like a belly your mind is a stomach it consumes knowledge and the more you read and get into this thing with the, with the, with the, the right teachers from mainly from the brothers of GMS, right? Starting with the El Apostle on down, El Apostle Tahar on down. You get me? Really good teachers, right? This this word will be with you, yo. Life will be with you, yo. You understand me? And with that, I don't want to make it too long. So with that, I want to say, yo. Kal Halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Shalom to the brothers and the highways and byways doing this work in all sincerity and in truth Shalom